So what happens in your body when you feel stress? Where do you feel it? Where do you feel it? Your stomach, ha ha, whoever said that, yes. Stomach, your muscles, sometimes your head, sometimes you can have increased heart rate, right? You just kind of feel it here. You can feel tightness in your chest, fatigue even. You just get stressed. What about headache? Even your mental faculties, right? You just can't think well when you're stressed out. Now, stress, there's four ways to kind of look at stress. There's four things. Stress is either internal or external. So, if you come at me with a knife, what would that be? External. If I think you're coming at me with a knife, what would that be? I'm inter- I'm, I'm, it's not really happening, but my body thinks it's happening, right? My brain says, oh, hey, we have a problem. Now, the other two ways you qualify stress is it's either real or perceived. So if someone's coming at me, is that real or perceived? Real. It's real. If I think they're coming at me, what is it? Perceived, but the stress response in my body is exactly the same. I don't have a little window right here that I can like, and they can check out the outside to see if it's really real. The All of what goes on inside of me, all these cells and all these little cell receptors, they respond to what you think about and what you believe and what you perceive. So if I perceive that someone's coming at me, and it, promote, it provokes a stress response? Is somebody really coming at me? No. I think the person's just wanting to come give me a hug and they have a pencil in their hand or something. But I'm all jittery that day and, I, and instantly you have that, <gasps> you know, that rush of hormone. So stress is internal or external, real or perceived. 